package which are sent from the uh, from the sensor. Uh, the sensors are uh, batteryless or uh, battery power, but the base station is uh, uh, can connect it to the uh, electricity electricity. Uh, so, uh, okay, and uh, so the base station can uh, process. Uh, uh, many operations, many uh, functions. Uh, so uh, they they say to some base station uh, and sensor are, are so different, and the base station uh, uh, can manage uh, all events uh, according to according to uh, receive data, um, receive message. Uh, okay, include the number of sensors that are used to collect data and send them to the base station. Um, okay, let's see if you can uh, you can talk about this. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. It's okay for me. I, I think you have a, a question from Sir uh, the, the The entry application uh, bypass security and data loss. Uh, or are there problem in this regard? Uh, and Hussein asked sensor RX distribution uh, system example. Uh, yes, Hussein is another type of distribution system. But uh, the question of Hassan is uh, do you integrate application bypass security? Integrate application bypass security and data data loss or this problem in this regard. Uh, this uh, this problem uh, exists uh, in this uh, in this distribution system such as other distribution systems. Okay, this is uh, the security, the data loss. Uh, you know uh, these topics. Uh, are exist uh, in uh, in the network. So when there is a network, okay, we know, uh, uh, especially in the networks, uh, the data loss is uh, possible, this, and we uh, we need uh, appropriate operation for data loss, and uh, also the security is very important. So uh, these uh, uh, challenges. The security and data loss uh, are exist uh, uh, in each network. Okay, so I can say in each distributed system as I did, not uh, uh, only distributed database or distributed. Okay, uh, all in all distributed systems, the data loss and the security uh, are exist, and uh, so. Uh, different applications, uh, different components module uh, are defined uh, uh, for uh, uh, for this uh, challenge. Mustafa asks, uh, what happens when the network links fail? Uh, Mustafa, this is um, these questions. Uh, your questions is uh, 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 your questions. Uh, uh, have not a simple uh, answer because the, when the network links fail, uh, a variety of a variety of uh, solution are defined for these uh, 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 events. So I cannot talk about one. Okay. Um, Sometime, for example, sometime when the uh, the network links fail, okay. Uh, so by using some timers uh, uh, and by using some protocols, uh, the nodes can find the links are are, are fail. Okay, so uh, sometimes the base uh, the uh, the base station can find this uh, event and okay, this event can um, um, okay they. It, uh, they can use uh, another links, another another route. Okay, so I can I can say 
uh, the message rewrote uh, to the base session by using the different rows, okay, uh, is possible. And sometimes we need to um, uh, uh, repair uh, this uh, event by using the uh, information appropriate, uh, send appropriate information to the engineer, to the, uh, to the expert that is responsible to manage. Uh, the net uh, to uh, uh, to manage the network. Okay, so uh, a variety of solution are defined are defined for this uh, question. Uh, Say if you can talk about this for your classmate. Thank, thank you all, and see them because of your cooperation. Thank you all. Thank you all. شبكات الاستشعار لكن من خصائصه خصائص العقد فن العقد عفوا التي يتم تصفيل المستشعرات بها تكون عديدة بين ما موضح من عشرة إلى ألف أيضا تكون بسيطة بحيث أن الذاكرة صغيرة سعة الحوسبة والاتصال فيها غالبا ما يكون بشكل مبسط و الساعة تكون أو ساعة الاتصال عفوا أيضا غالبا ما تعمل البطارية أو حتى تعمل البطارية أو بدون بطارية النقطة المهمة أيضا أن البطارية تستمد يستمد مستشعر البطارية عفوا طاقتها من خلال استحصالها من بيئتها والذي يسمى بحصاد الطاقة حيث في الحديث عن السلايد الآخر اللي هو الوايرلس سنسر نتورك اللي تكون شبكة الاستشعار بالنسبة اللاسلكية لأن فيها تكون هناك بيس ستيشن محطة قاعدة ولذا تتضمن عددا من أجهزة الاستشعار اللي تستخدم لجمع البيانات وإرسالها إلى المحطة الرئيسية. محطة رئيسية فن العديد من الأوامر والإعازات تنفذ من خلالها والتي تعتمد بالأساس على الإرسال إلى قاعدة المحطة الخاصة بها. أوكي. أوكي، thank you save. Different uh, uh, protocol can be used uh, in WSN. Uh, for example, in continuous one, uh, the sense data is always sent to the base station, and uh, the sensors are active. Uh, okay, in, in the continuous uh, state, the sense data all, uh, all, always the sense data. Is sent to the uh, toward the resistance station. In, in uh, query base, uh, every time it needs, uh, every time it needs send data is sent. It's called passive. It's called passive. In event base, when a particular action occurs, uh, the send data is sent. Again, it's called active. But uh, the, what's the difference between the Continuous and event base. In the continuous sense, it is always sent, but the event base, when the particular action uh, occurs, okay, after that, the sense it is sent. And the hybrid, uh, in the hybrid, uh, uh, send all, all information to the sync, okay, in the hybrid uh, uh, status. Uh, so, uh, some time, uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, I don't know what uh, it's called the protocol or it's called the techniques. Okay, uh, these uh, uh, different uh, some uh, techniques can be used uh, for the WSA. And also in this. Uh, a figure you can see uh, the difference 
between uh, uh, between uh, the continuous one and uh, I think the query based. Uh, in the figure A, uh, you can see uh, the sensors uh, have not a storage. Uh, okay, so the sensors cannot, the sensors cannot uh, store the data. Uh, okay, so uh, when the sensors, uh, okay, the sensor uh, can send the data continuous or event based. If uh, if the in this figure, uh, if the sensor, uh, if the sensor uh, sends uh, a particular action, uh, okay, the sense data should send to the operator site. But the, uh, but in the figure B, you can see that each uh, sensor has uh, uh, its own. Uh, storage okay so um, the data which uh, uh, are get from the environment can uh, store uh, in the storage uh, okay so when the the operator side uh, need to use uh, the latest information uh, it can send a query uh, toward the sensors and okay the sensor can uh, uh, send uh, the answer according to the query which are sent from the operator size uh, they should to send uh, the answers uh, toward the operator size okay it's called the query based it's called the query based uh, Safe, you can talk about this is these two slides. Thank yeah. you, Safe. Yes, sir. Okay. I think we have a question. Base is equal station. Or base station uh, equal server. Uh, the, base the base station, station can be server. Yes, the base station can be server. Say, uh, usually it's called server. Yeah. And Mustafa asked, uh, uh, do all nodes form a synchronous group? Uh, uh, I, uh, I need to, uh, to think about your question uh, because uh, you know that, uh, uh, yes, uh, the nodes can be synchronous, uh, but uh, uh, but it, it this is it can be the question. Uh, is there any any asynchronous no asynchronous groups in the uh, WSN? Uh, I think it's possible that there are some asynchronous nodes. It, it's, it can be possible, but uh, uh, you can. Uh, I, I suggest you uh, to. I search your question in the uh, in the internet to find appropriate information. But, but I think uh, it's possible that uh, uh, there are some uh, asynchronous group. Uh, it's possible that some groups uh, um, um, be asynchronous. Welcome, Mustafa. Say if you can talk about uh, this is okay. the two slides. الحديث ايضا عن شبكة الاستشعار اللاسلكية حيث من الخصائص التي يتم العمل عليها اولا الكونتينيوس اللي هو التتابع يتم دائما ارسال البيانات المستشعرة الى اجهزة الاستشعار التي تكون نشطة ثانيا بناء على الاستعلام في كل مرة يتم فيها ارسال بيانات مستشعرة تكون مبهمة أو غير معلومة بالنسبة للاستشعار أيضا بناء على الحدث عند حدوث إجراء معين يتم إرسال بيانات المحسوسة والتي يعتبر هنا في حالة نشط الحالة الأخرى اللي يكون بها عملية هايبرد اللي هو الشكل الهجين من النوعين السابقين 
ارسال جميع المعلومات الى الى الحقل الخاص بالنسبه للاوبريتر حتى كيف يتم لو تلاحظون انه السنسر او شبكه شبكات الاستشعار تعمل كنظام موزع اوكي شير كان وي بوش اور سيلف ان ذا نيكست سلايد عندنا نوعين هنا راح رامكم بانه شبكه الاستشعار ترس يقوم المستشعر بهذه الحاله في الدايجرام الاول الدايجرام A يرسل البيانات بشكل مباشر للمشغل في موقع المشغل العمليه الاكثر تكاملا في البي راح تكون وهي انه لكل حساس ممكن يقوم بعمل ويخزن البيانات في نفس التوقيت اذا يتم اجراء استعلام بعدها المستشعرات تقوم فقط بارسال الاجابات الى موقع المشغل اوكي سير اوكي سير ثانك يو اند ان ذا نيكست سلايد يو كان سي ذا انترنت يو نو ذا انترنت از ذا وايد اريا نتورك ويتش كوزيس اوف many uh, devices uh, which are connected through uh, different uh, uh, links uh, uh, different technologies uh, it can be wire or wireless okay it, it's called the uh, it's uh, the biggest distributed this uh, this resistance over the world uh, you know that uh, the a variety of tasks are defined in internet. The tasks are spread over many matches over the world. Uh, okay, uh, it's called. Uh, it, it's another distribution system. So you can see in this figure some web servers and web browsers. You know that uh, different web browser and web servers are exist, uh, and you can use them. Okay, uh, this title distribution system is finished now. And we can uh, start a new session, a new topic, inshallah. Uh, if uh, do you have any question, uh, we can. I'm going to hear your question. If you don't have any question, we can uh, start new topic. Inshallah. Uh, your colleagues. شباب اذا احد عنده سؤال فممكن ان نتوجه به باعتبار ان هذه السلايدات خلصت ونحن نتوجه بشرح موضوع او جلسه جديده مصطفى اوكي ليت مي بي يو كان ريست فور اباوت 10 مينتس اي ام جوينغ تو ابلود ذا نيو ذا ذا appropriate file in the DARS and, uh, and also uh, in the Adobe Connect. Okay, so let me uh, some minutes and initial, you can rest for and after that uh, we can start new topic. Yeah, that's a break for us. That's for a break 10 minutes. for us. Yes, yeah, 10 minutes. Shabab, I'd come a break for 10 minutes. I'd come a break for 10 minutes. أو السلايدات الجديدة على الدرس عشان درس
السلام عليكم uh, I uploaded uh, one uh, this file uh, which is uh, cluster computing and hyperparse uh, cluster computing in uh, uh, portal in the Darso portal please check it uh, please check it and uh, declare me is it uploaded in, is it uploaded in uh, in the portal Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, it's the second topic. Now I'm going to talk about the cluster computing and I, I'm going to introduce the cluster computing uh, shortly. Uh, you know, this is uh, the cluster computing is one type, uh, one type of uh, distributed computing system. Distributed computing system. It's it's an, it's the first uh, distributed system which are used by many organizations, many researchers around the world. Uh, the researchers try to improve the, this system because this system uh, is uh, so beneficial and it's uh, used in the university, in the organization, okay, uh, for uh, solving many problems. Uh, in this. Um, uh, topic i'm going to talk about the architecture system and application which uh, are used in high performance cluster computing uh, these uh, uh, slides are provided by uh, professor buya uh, which uh, is uh, in the monash university of uh, is a, a very a well known uh, uh, scientist about the, the distributed systems um, okay I'm going to start but before that I, say if you can talk about uh, some things that I say uh, about this say yeah. oh, okay now I have to you have you want me to, uh, to talk about this uh, this this picture or this slide? Um, you can talk about uh, this. Okay, it's not important. Uh, we know that uh, it's so clear for you and your classmate. Okay, okay, we can uh, start uh, this. Yes. Uh, these slides uh, I get from the uh, this book. Uh, high performance cluster computing, which uh, I wrote by uh, Professor Buya. Uh, okay, in this uh, uh, book, you can learn Shay Risa Advance. Uh, uh, and this book uh, provided us uh, to learn Shay Risa Advance in cluster computing, both in research and commercial setting. Uh, in this book, we can find uh, um, the architecture, system software, program environment tools for cluster company, and so on. And finally, about uh, some application which uh, are uh, developed uh, to execute on cluster computing systems. Uh, the agent of this uh, presentation is uh, our view of computing, motivation and enablement technology, cluster architecture is component, cluster classification, cluster middleware, single system image, a representative cluster system resource, and conclusion is the final topic. Uh, first of all, uh, we want to uh, uh, see the overall architecture of uh, of the of com and uncomputing elements uh, in the system, the distributed systems. Uh, we know that uh, the cluster computing uh, includes some processor, but before the cluster computing, multiprocessor computing system uh, is the system which are used by uh, as a mainframe system, as a supercomputer, a supercomputer system, uh, 
uh, to uh, perform, to execute appropriate uh, programs. A multiprocessor uh, computing system consists of some processors. Uh, usually, these processors are, are located in one motherboard. Uh, it's different from the cluster computer. But, but you, you know that the cluster computer include different matches, and each processor can locate it on different matches. We know that. But uh, in this figure, we can see the multiprocessor computing system, which uh, there are, where dre which drees one motherboard and the uh, a different processor are are, uh, are located in the in the in one motherboard and uh, we know that uh, uh, appropriate uh, operating system should uh, install on the systems um, the operating system uh, it, Causes of the microkernel. This uh, microkernel includes uh, 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 some modules uh, which can be used uh, to manage the processors, to manage the requests uh, which are get uh, by the operating system to execute uh, on the processor to use different resources which are in the uh, matching. We know that uh, the operating system uh, is responsible to manage uh, the request. Uh, okay, so uh, you can see some processors and uh, the process should assign, uh, the process should assign to the processor uh, by uh, microkernel. And also you can see uh, the thread interface, the thread interface uh, uh, based on the pro, uh, programming paradigm. Uh, be, uh, please uh, see, please uh, see uh, the first layer, which is the application layer. The application layer, uh, in this layer, you can see some uh, process. Uh, this process can be single thread or multi thread process. Uh, and uh, okay, so you can see uh, some threads, some threads uh, belong to the different process, different applications, and this uh, this thread uh, should uh, map to the thread interface, and the thread interface thread interface is used to uh, uh, connect. Uh, each thread to the microkernel and microkernel uh, 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 includes uh, different modules. This module can uh, uh, use to uh, map each thread to each uh, processor, to each processor, and the processor can execute them. Uh, if it's clear uh, for safe, if it's clear for you, please talk about this slide for okay, sir. your class. Okay. The the about the 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 هذا الموضوع هو تعليم مشاركة التطورات الحديثة في الحوسبة العنقودية في كل من الإعدادات البحثية والتجارية أيضا على مستوى المعمارية برامج النظام بيئات البرمجة وأدواتها وأيضا التطبيقات الإعمار راح سفرة تكون حول نظرة عامة على الحوسبة والدراسة والتقنيات التلكين والعمارة أو المعمارية العنقودية ومكوناتها وتصنيفات المجموعات والكتلة الوسطية وصورة من النظام وأيضا الأنظمة اللي تكون متم... بشكل كتلة مت... تمثيلية واحدة والموارد والاستنتاجات الشرح اللي أمامنا يتحدث عن عناصر الحوسبة اللي تتكون منها الحاسبة أو العمليات كيف راح تكون من الش... آلية تنفيذ العمليات من خلال الحاسبة من خلال المكونات الظاهرة أمامكم. عندنا مجموعة من الأمور تبدأ من الهاردوير المكونات المادية نتعامل مع البروسيسور المعالج اللي لدينا مجموعة من المعالجات مالتي بروسيسور سيستم 
بعد ذلك نتعامل مع مكونات برمجية اللي هي المايكرو كيرنر اللي هو النواة الصغيرة اللي تكون متمثلة بعملية حساب حساب العمليات عبر نظم التشغيل إذا لدينا واجهة الواجهة الصوتية اللي هي تريدز انترفيس تريد انترفيس كلكم تعرفت عليها بشرح مادة المعالجات اللي تتحدث عن كيفية حساب وقت التنفيذ بالنسبة للعمليات المنجزة خلال تنفيذ برنامج محدد أو غير ذلك بعد ذلك يتم تنفيذ التطبيقات المراد حسابها عبر كل تلك المكونات المشروحة أمامكم أوكي سيف أوكي سيف Uh, I'm going to talk about the computing power and computer architecture. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, some uh, applications uh, are called grand challenge applications. Okay, say applications such as life, uh, life science, I space. Uh, some e-commerce application, military application, especially military application, digital biology, okay? Uh, some of these applications are called the grand challenge applications. Because solving this application, you need to use uh, computer modeling, simulation, and analysis, especially computer modeling, simulation, and analysis. Uh, Solving this application is not uh, easy, it's not appropriate, and we need to use appropriate systems uh, to solve them. Uh, 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 this application needs a computing power driver, computer, a special computing power driver, because this application needs to uh, execute on the uh, spatial systems. Okay, you know that I'm going to talk about the distributed systems. Okay, so uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some uh, uh, definitions uh, uh, toward to the distributed systems. Uh, okay, for solving this application, uh, there are three ways to improve performance okay we need, uh, I, I say you that uh, for solving this application uh, we need to use uh, appropriate systems because we need high performance uh, okay so uh, there are three ways to improve uh, pr improve performance first work harder Two, second work smarter and third kick hell Th these three ways uh, are used to improve performance. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk about this in computer analogy. In computer analogy, uh, the computer analogy for work harder is use uh, use faster hardware, use faster hardware. Okay, because we need to reduce the time per instruction, reduce the time per instruction. Okay, we need uh, we need to use uh, a special computer, a special systems with uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, high frequency and uh, uh, high per har, uh, 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 yes uh, high speed I can say. Another uh, way is work smart. Okay, instead of using work harder uh, to use a spatial systems because uh, use harder, it means that we need to uh, provide to buy uh, another system with more performance with uh, according to uh, speed. Um, uh, but another way is work is smarter. For work smarter in computer energy, uh, we need to use optimized algorithm and techniques. Optimized algorithm and techniques. You know, uh, there are some uh, algorithm uh, 
to arrange, uh, to sort, to sort uh, an array. Okay, one algorithm is bubble sort. One another algorithm is selection sort, quick sort, merge sort, and okay, other techniques are in, are uh, introduced uh, for uh, for sorting. When we want to uh, compare this algorithm, uh, we need to use uh, the time complexity. And we know that usually, uh, for example, the merge sort or quick sort, uh, the time complexity, the time complexity of merge sort and quick sort is O and log n, but uh, uh, for example, the bubble so the, the time complexity of bubble sort is uh, n power two. Okay, so we prefer to use this, uh, the merge sort or quick sort instead of bubble sort. For example, it, it's uh, an example. So the optimized algorithm techniques is another way to uh, improve performance. And the third one is multiple uh, get help. Get help. It's the third one to improve performance. In the computer analogy, I can say, uh, what is the get help? Use mul multiple computers. Instead of using one computer, one matching for solving problem, then we can use multiple computers to solve problem. That is, OK, by using this uh, technique, uh, we can increase number of instruction executed per clock cycle. We can increase uh, and, uh, increase the number of execution uh, instruction executed per per clock cycle. Uh, Say so you can talk about this with slide. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, so we can talk about the parameters that the parameters that are the power of والتي تعتبر حل تطبيقات لتحدي كبير أو مشاكل كبيرة باستخدام الحاسوب من خلال النمذجة والمحاكاة والتحليلات والتي تدخل في مجالات عدة كثيرة منها علوم الحياة الفضاء التجارة الإلكترونية علم الأحياء الرقمي والتطبيقات العسكرية. We shall move to the next. Slide. اما بالحديث عن كيفية تشغيل التطبيق او التطبيقات بشكل ادق وبسرعة على بامكان اتباع ثلاثة طرق لتحسين الاداء يتم ذلك من خلال العمل بجدية تامة وتنفيذ الاوامر بشكل يخدم المصلحة وعدم التباطؤ في ذلك ايضا العمل بذكاء وتقني ثلاثة ممكن ثالثا ممكن الحصول على المساعدة في تنفيذ بعض المشاريع من خلال الاستعانة بخبرات التنفيذية تشبيه ذلك أولا باستخدام أجهزة أجهزة أسرع على سبيل المثال تقليل الوقت من خلال تنفيذ التعليمات الحصول على وقت تنفيذ عالي جدا أيضا تنفيذ خوارزميات والتقنيات المحسنة والتي تشرع بتنفيذ العمليات بشكل أدق نسبيا ثالثا من خلال أجهزة استخدام أجهزة كمبيوتر متعددة لحل المشكلة أو المشاكل التي تواجهها أي يتم ذلك بزيادة عدد التعليمات المنفذة في كل دورة أوكي سار. Mm. Okay, in this figure you can see uh, the computer platform evolution. Um, okay, uh, you can see the desktop computer as a single processor. Uh, uh, you can uh, please uh, pay attention to the uh, both dimensions. Uh, the uh, vertical dimension use uh, the, uh, show us uh, the performance, the performance on 
uh, different uh, platform. Uh, okay, you can see that uh, we, we know that the performance of this sub uh, computer is lower than uh, SMPs or supercomputer, and the performance of supercomputer is lower than the local cluster and uh, other clusters uh, in these uh, administrative barriers. And the uh, and horizontal dimension uh, show us a different. Uh, different platform which are introduced uh, and uh, up to now and sometime for example I, ip is a platform which uh, it's an ideal platform uh, for computing uh, okay and the first uh, uh, platform is uh, the desktop computer we know that because we use uh, this platform all of them use this platform and, and after the subcomputer, we can see uh, the symmetric, symmetric multiprocessor, symmetric multiprocessor or supercomputer. The supercomputer or symmetric multiprocessor uh, is a processor which consists of some, which consists of some processor. Okay, instead of using the single processor, we can use uh, uh, there is a matching which have some processors uh, okay it's it called uh, symmetric multiprocessors or supercomputer but we know that uh, uh, the number of processors uh, which can be located uh, which are placed uh, on a motherboard is limited okay uh, when we want to uh, increase the performance we can use another system which is called local cluster Local cluster uh, uh, consists, uh, uh, consists of some matches. We can increase the number of matches in local cluster. And, uh, okay, it's possible for us. Okay, so there is no uh, limitation uh, in the number of processor. Uh, we know that uh, it's uh, uh, up to network, but if, the, if uh, we have, if, if there is uh, appropriate network we can connect some matches and also we need to use appropriate middleware to manage the matches uh, but but it's, it's possible uh, that uh, for us to increase the number of matches uh, in local cluster uh, after local cluster we can use uh, we can see the enterprise cluster grid enterprise cluster grid consists of some clusters some cluster, some local cluster, these local cluster uh, can be connected to each other uh, through uh, a special network. Uh, okay, so uh, enterprise cluster is, a, uh, is a, a platform which consists of some local cluster. Uh, after enterprise cluster, we can see uh, the, the global cluster, the global cluster uh, okay, uh, again, you can see some uh, cluster which are spread over the world. Uh, okay, the number of cluster can uh, increase. Uh, 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 okay, uh, is uh, this cluster can be used by a variety of users uh, around the world. Uh, in this figure, uh, also. Uh, in this box, you can see the administrative bar barriers, individual, group, department, campus, state, nation, globe, interplanet, and universe. Uh, these, uh, these are administrative barriers according to the, uh, to, uh, to the platforms and uh, computer platform evolutions. And the final, I can say IPN or interplanet uh, network is an ideal. Uh, Cluster computing, uh, cluster computing, uh, uh, which uh, consists of some matches or uh, uh, interplanets. Okay. Uh, yes, I, I think that's enough. Safe, you can talk about this. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, in the discussion about the tools of the electronic حيث يتم ذلك من خلال كسر الحواجز الإدارية بشكل تمثيلي ويتم ذلك من خلال 
إدارة تمثيلية أو أو تمثيل الحواجز الإدارية من خلال بشكل فردي التي تنتقل بتنفيذ بروسيسور واحد بعد ذلك تتطور إلى مجموعة ثم يتطور ذلك إلى إلى أكثر بحيث يصل إلى شكل على شكل تطويري بتمثيل حرمي إلى إلى حالة ثم يصبح عالمي إلى أن يصبح بشكل كوكبي إلى أن يصبح كوني كل ذلك التمثيل هو هو لتنفيذ الكلاستر في إشكال العنقودية عناية بتطوير منصات الحوسبة الإلكترونية للوصول إلى غاية ترفع الأداء بالنسبة للعمليات أوكي سار Uh, okay, safe. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, uh, the next slide to talk about the clear application of cluster. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Okay, we can continue this concept, inshallah, in the next session. Uh, if uh, Is there any question? I, I'm going to hear your question. Uh, any question? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, too, safe. For your helping us. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome.